G'day everyone, Uncle Jojo, Warm Jigga, to another Rip Roaring episode. Today we're going to have a look at a couple of structural noggins that we're going to be cutting in. Structural noggins are noggins, hardwood noggins preferably, that go into positions that allow weight distribution to be spread evenly over a skeleton or a frame of a house and make sure that those points are picked up and reduces any movement in the house and ties the house together for integrity, for structural integrity, and for longevity as well. Today we're gonna cut in a noggin for under a load bearing point. We've got a load bearing point coming from a hip end, under pearl and prop, all that kind of stuff. We need a solid block this corner just here. Uh, you can see that the floor is already bowing, there's weight coming down on it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a piece of timber, hardwood, uh, so KD hardwood, F17. We're going to cut that and we're going to slip it into place. We'll also glue it with some construction adhesive or uh, Bostic construction adhesive. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Now, one little trick is that we're going to cut this to length and we're also going to have to rip this. Now, you see that I've already finger gauged it all the way down here. I want to do this rip before I do this cut. So I can continue this cut all the way through and then I can cut off the waste. That way I can ensure that I've got it really nice and straight. If I cut that to length straight away first, and then I do this, then my blade can wiggle. I can't ensure that I've got really good um, hold down pressure so I can rip it really easily. I'll show you exactly what I mean. If you have the ability, you can use some of the timber to stop it. So as I rip, I'll hold that in place. And as I rip down this length, this will be a butting to that and the timber itself can't move. Again, we'll cut this line in half. You have to be very careful that, that doesn't grab and bounce backwards. Now that's been ripped and it's been cut to length. Let's see how she fits. Uh oh, we forgot something. We're gonna to have to cut this pipe out at the corner here. Out of the timber, we're gonna to have to cut that pipe out. Nice for length, 22 mil by 35. 35, 22. Big thing about gluing the noggin in place is then the timber won't squeak when people walk over the floors or if the door or blah, 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 blah. Or if there's additional weight put on or anything like that. The glue itself has a rubber or a latex in it. So it allows it to expand and contract. It's very good glue, but it's expensive. By doing that, you can see that this point here is now picked up directly over the top of the bearer and then that goes down to our weight point on our stump. That distance from there to there is perfect. The difference though is that there's nothing in this area before and now that there is. So all weight distribution is down directly onto that weight point. That's what we want. If you've got any questions about cutting noggins for weight points or making sure they're a structural noggin, please flick it over for me and I'll answer it for you best I can whenever I can. Thanks for watching and like always, stay on real banana peel. I'll see you in the soup.